filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Monica's like, hey, when's that bitch out of the picture? Ten minutes pass. You already said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see, I say. The most logical place for you to be would be... Would to be, would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha. Uh, heavy breathing, I'd assume. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Oh, Jesus. Swall memer. Oh, thank you for that cheer. I appreciate it. I, th <laughs> I thought the Estes noise was coming from the game, and I'm like, what the... F That's not good. Because I can imagine... What's happening around this corner? A sharp inhale. That timing is fucking perfect. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? I ask. Oh, jeez. Kias is Yuri. Uh, everything just backed up a bit. Okay. Yuri says, I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Snake, do you like oolong tea? Ah, uh, yeah, I say. Anything is fine. Very well, says Yuri. Is Yuri also a cre like a, a puppet master? Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. I say, you really do this properly, don't you? She says, of course. I shouldn't do any less while I'm making tea for others. I say, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? She laughs. In that case, you'll, <laughs> you'll only be even more impressed. I say, ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. I say, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so, she says. I was just, I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. I say, ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. She says, you're always worrying about me, Snake. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. Don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for the both of us. For each of us. She says, Snake, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that, I ask. It's a little bit easier on my back, she says. I can meet with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. I say, ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries, she says. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. I'm wondering if that's true? Or if there's, or if it's somehow tied to a bad habit of hers? Hmm. I say, is that so? I wonder why that is. She says, it's most likely because it's my... Ah, uh, my... I say, your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? She says, yes, that's totally it. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough, I say. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. <laughs> Frosty, maybe that's all I can live. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer together. Closer to each other. I'm putting in my own words. Yuri says, I can't see too well. I'm alerted. Yuri slides closer until her shoulders are, are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Yuri says, your teacup. Yuri, handies, Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. I, I know we talked about it last time, but that still doesn't make sense to me. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry, I say. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's, she says. That's okay. I won't take any. I say, eh? Are you sure? 
Well, she says, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. I say, ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize, she says. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? I ask. She says, of course. Alright, I'm gonna save here. For sure. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have to so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, I say. Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh, she says. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, she says, snake. Sorry, I say. I guess I shouldn't have done that. She says, ah. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't. Snake. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Snake, she says. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Snake. Why did the room go dark? I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Snake? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh, her eyes are going weird. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. She breathes heavily. And she's breathing. God, her eyes are fucked up right now. They look like the same artist who did her ear. She's still breathing heavily at us. Monica. Hey! Hey! Just what I thought! Oh! Hey, Monica! How, how you doing? It's time to share poems! She says, Oh man, I'm actually really happy to see Monica right now. That's, that's, mm. But you know what? We're just gonna, gonna go straight back to Yuri. I've been waiting for this, says Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? I ask. Snake, she says. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth, worth practicing. I say, maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. You know, it makes more sense that we've been through this all many, many times. Because why else are we so good at poetry? Anyway, Yuri visibly swallows. Even, in, even her hands appear sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Yuri says, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel that, like I'm valued, Snake. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart... Cats. My heart cats. Just holding it. She laughs. Wanna write a poem about this feeling? Is that bad, Snake? Not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? This one's different, for sure. <sighs> okay, I hope this doesn't happen. I really hope this doesn't happen. I have to lean in to read these because they're hard to read. I'm afraid that they're going to do a fucking jump scare on me because it's hard to read and I take too long to read it or something, you know? They're just going to like rip the paper away midway through. Oh, fuck off, Frosty. It is wheelie long. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox. Falling sky. Seven holy stakes. Seven holy stakes. A docked ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe. 
time controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time devouring sn A prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Forty gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks for one second every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every A clock that ticks forty times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devour devouring prayer connecting a sky of forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing god. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. She laughs. Doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it all out on your pen. Ah, that is, uh, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. And she laughs. I'm okay, she says. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Great! Well, let's go talk to Natsuki, because this will be way more normal. Keep your eyes today. Keep them in. Yeah, just as I thought, she says. Snake, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. What? It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Snake? Honestly. I thought that getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Now they'll exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Well, that was quick. Hey, Monica. Snake, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been enable you've kind of been enabling her. I've been here for two days. I don't think that's fair, Monica. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, she continues. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you kept your keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Monica's poem is Save Me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. And endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Vile, int, grating, w, u, f, or miss, square, e, king, screech, and piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like play, inch, a, ch, ook, board, on, a, t, earned, able, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage, end, Indel z p m of m n ingle miss delete her oh well that's a nice ending to that 
Hey, Monica. Sorry, now it's kind of abstract. It is a little abstract. You're missing a lot of letters. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. I'm gonna save now. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh boy. You unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Uh... Hmm, I... I don't... Hmm... I don't recognize who that is. So it must be fanfic. Yeah. I don't think we've met anyone like her, so I guess we'll just, you know, chalk it up to a... Okay, everyone, says Monica. We're all done reading... Oh, Jesus Christ, look at the bottom right. Oh, no, that's my cursor. Oh, fuck, that's my cursor. We're gonna keep that on... I normally take it off the screen, I'm gonna keep it right there. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Oh, now it's fine again. Hooray. I'll, I'll still keep it on screen over here, just in case. We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Natsuki says, is this about the festival? Monica says, well, sort of. Natsuki says, ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put anything, put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Yuri says, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Even though we've seen that to be untrue. Monica says, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively since ever since Snake joined and we've started to become and we've started some club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? Natsuki says, what's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Monica says, Natsuki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you would never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put together something for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Snake? I say, ah. Natsuki interrupts. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Snake to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think of any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked to me until Snake joined. As for me, I just like it here better than I do at home. And Snake isn't even passionate about... And Snake isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us he are fine like it is. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Snake want to get more members too. Right? We're quiet, even though I want a choice here. I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um, I say. No, says Monica. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I did? I say, but that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Monica says, Snake, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? You all, you pressured me into this. I say, well, it's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, says Monica, if I remember, you weren't even a given a choice not to join. Mon Monica sits down and stares at her desk. I like that she recognized that by herself. She says, what's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Yuri says, now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me, she says? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? 
Yuri says, it's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. Nakatsuki says, you don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many places... Other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away, I say. Natsuki says, no, Snake. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home, she says. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Yuri says, Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. Yuri says, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, I say, do you have an opinion on the festival? Why would I bring that up? She says, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? Says Yuri. Is my cursor fine still? My cursor's still fine. Oh, hey, they fixed the ear issue. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, she continues. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president, and it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. <laughs> uh, I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Snake? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide to give an indirect answer. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see, says Yuri. I really agree with you. Each member... What the fuck? Oh, she's... she's bleeding from her eye. Ah. Okay. Each member contributes her, their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change, too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. I say, all right. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Monica says, hey, Yuri. Eh? She continues, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Yuri says, Monica. Monica continues, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Yuri says, me too. Yeah, says Monica. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay, says Yuri. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Snake? Monica says, um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Snake before we leave, just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, says Monica. Something I've noticed... The game never directly mentions it, but we skip through time to the end of the... We're never around, except if it's the very morning. Actually, no. Yeah, we go to class, we go to school, or we were going to school, but now it's instantly we're at the club, the club ends. Instantly we're either doing a poem, or we're already back at the club again the next day. And I'm wondering if that's actually important. Like, are we not able to talk to people? It's, like... Does time not actually exist outside of this time frame? It's a little... It's curious. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew, says Monica. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Snake, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time with this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm the one responsible for that as president. The background's darkening. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't really like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. She laughs. Sometimes it's it feels like you and I are the only real people here. 
You know what I mean? But it's weird, because in all the time we've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Ah, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things that I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No! Stop it! I fucking called it! I fucking called it! There's a time limit! Oh, that's really interesting. I really like this. Alright, we're still gonna go for Yuri here. But it's beginning to seem like... Monica's actually the only other person, according to her. Oh, that's really cool. Fuck, passion's for her. Oh, hey! The, uh, the page number's a little weird up there. That's strange. Oh my god, did you see that? Uh, shiny. No. No. We got, we got her to jump. From, she's like down here somewhere. No, that's someone else. That's a white bow. What the fuck? Is, is Monica down there? Uh, is it when I pick something sad? No. What's the, what's the theme here? Oh! I say Ari's face. I mean, nobody's face. Hi, Snake, says Yuri. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Natsuki says, Monica. I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Yuri says, inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me, says Natsuki. Yuri says, must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Natsuki says, what are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me, says Yuri? No, nothing. Is it really that bad? And Suki says, see, it is something. Yuri says, I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Yuri says, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Natsuki says, well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man, says Monica. The last one here again. Natsuki says, well, Snake just walked in too. Yuri says, were you practicing piano again? She says, yeah. Yeah, that was totally Monica. She laughs. Yuri says, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still try to make time for piano. Monica says, well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right, says Monica. I forgot. Yuri says, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well... We decided we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Natsuki laughs. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more than hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Did... Was there something strange for a second? Felt like something shifted on her body, but... I know the member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness, says Yuri. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Says Natsuki. Ah, says Monica. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Snake. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... Yuri says, we already have plans today. Monica says, ah. 
Is that so, Yuri? Yuri says, that's correct. Snake is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? Monica says, I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh, Jesus! Uh, yes, she whispered in a crazed face. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Yuri, actually, I have a request. I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all, I say. Thanks very much, says Yuri. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Follow and watch as she... We've seen this. Can you hold this for a second? Yuri hands me a water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. This is the same thing we did before with the... the the whole kettle set up. She's elegant because of her long legs. I'm giving her the water pitcher. I say I might as well walk with you. She wants me to stay here again. Ah, says Monica. Did L Yuri leave you again? I say no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay, says Monica. Sorry for misunderstanding. That's strange. Are we caught in loop? Something's holding her up. I'm bored. We're gonna go look for her again. The most logical place for Yuri would be near the water fountain. Heavy breathing. It sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Oh, there's there's Yuri again. And we we rewind yet again. Oh, hey, Yuri. <laughs> um, says Yuri. Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Nothing on my cursor. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. Oh, my chat? What's in my chat? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, Monica. I did not notice you singing in my chat. I was enveloped. My apologies. Oh, did I accidentally... Oh, right-clicking removes things. When I was a bit younger, I think it would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Snake. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I have a feeling there's something sharp. I have been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before, because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Uh-oh. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Her eyes are freaking out every so often. Then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Uh, there's a bit of an overlay on top of Yuri right now. She laughs. That was a joke. Who is that? It's just a joke. I do like knives, though. Sounds strange. Is that Monica? Sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. 
Yeah, I think that's Monica. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Snake. Now we don't need it to be lonely anymore because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together and every day after school. And read together. And eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get and now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Snake? Will? Who should I show my poem to first? Hmm. 